Hey, how's it going YouTube? I'm Landon Dowsing and welcome back to another most amazing video. Before we get into today's video, I want to know what is the scariest room in your house? Let me know what it is and why in the comment section below. I'm pretty sure my entire condo is haunted by a ghost who likes to turn on TVs and open doors. So basements are dark, cold, and scary. No one really likes to go in them, especially if there are creepy noises and strange things that have happened there. So prepare to lock your basement doors, like literally right now, pause this video go lock your basement door because uh, yeah there's some creepy things down there and be prepared for this list because this is the top 10 scary basement stories let's get things started here in at number 10 with ghost children in the basement a lot of people claim that their basements are haunted by evil spirits or ghosts that have unfinished business either way it is extremely scary when you hear footsteps screaming or loud abrupt noises from the basement without any reasonable explanations this is why when this happens people install cameras with motion detection so they're able to get a notification when those mysterious and scary things happen in their basement I stumbled across a really scary video of ghost children playing in someone's basement take a look for yourself If this was me, I would never install a camera in the basement because I just don't want to know what's going on down there. But going back to the video, that was pretty creepy, so let's move on. Pet alligator bites its way into number nine. I've heard of a lot of people like to keep their pets in their homes, and sometimes they're kept in the basement. Why? I don't know. But this family isn't normal. On January of 2016, a repairman discovered a six foot, 200 pound alligator in the basement of a suburban home in Chicago. The alligator was their secret pet who was sometimes taken out of his cage and put it in the backyard. They had this alligator for 26 years without anyone ever knowing. The repairman was obviously stunned when he saw this monster alligator in the basement, so he called the police. They were able to remove the alligator, and the homeowners were charged with unlawful possession of an endangered species. I mean, is this real life right now? If I had an alligator in my basement, okay, actually, let's stop it right there, because I would never have an alligator in my basement. But if I did, I would be fearing for my life every single day. I don't got time for that. I don't care that he's in a cage. They have insanely strong jaws that can easily break through like the little fencing. I think I would rather have a dog or a rabbit as a pet and not a man-eating machine. I'm just gonna put that out there. Giant torpedo, psh, fires in at number eight. It's normal for a lot of people to store their belongings in the basement, right? Well, apparently the previous homeowners was really into weapons of mass destruction because a family discovered that they had a torpedo in their basement. How did the realtor miss this one? Oh, don't don't look over there. Buy this house because of, uh, yeah, this, this part of the basement is safe. This, this is the good part of the basement. Well, they were a little skeptic that this thing was authentic, so they had a consultation with an army veteran who told them that it was used with either a motor or a lightweight anti-tank weapon and that it was live. I mean, I'm sorry to say, but it is time to grab your kids, grab your wife, and get the heck out of there. Eventually, an explosive ordnance disposal unit came in to remove the deadly bomb. This is why you should get your house inspected, you know, uh, before you buy it, because there might be a potential missile in your basement. Okay, it's not likely that this will ever happen to you guys, but let's move on into number seven, and this takes us over to creepy skeletons in the basement. The internet broke when a story about a creepy looking skeletons were found in a basement under an orphanage in London. These scary looking creatures looked like dead fairies, werewolves, and aliens that were preserved in glass jars. Imagine seeing this. Their flesh had been rotting away and some of their wings were nailed to a display board. To make things even scarier, there was also sketches of a Jack the Ripper victims next to the real human heads and other organs that were well preserved. These nightmare objects were discovered by a bunch of construction workers who were doing some repairs on the home. They found several thousand small wooden boxes that were tightly sealed. So imagine how shocked they were when they first opened up the box. These extremely creepy corpses belonged to Thomas Theodore Marilyn, who was known as a prominent biologist in the 1800s. If I was working that day, I would run out of the house so damn fast, I would probably be Usain Bolt in a race. And I would definitely ask to like never work in basements ever again. 
it would be in my contract. So uh, it looks like here you don't want to work in any basements. Why? Yeah, you don't want to know. A secret room makes its way into number six. In 2015, a man bought a house for a really good bargain because the previous house owners had passed away and the house was slightly run down. After two weeks since he moved in, he decided to do some cleaning in the basement. That's where he went wrong. There was a lot of junk left over from the previous owners and when he went to move a piece of plywood, he discovered that there was a secret hidden room. If you guys found a secret hidden room in your basement, would you guys go check it out? I know for me the answer is hell no. At this point he was a little bit scared to go in the room, but he decided to take a look around. He immediately saw a bunch of gun boxes that had been emptied and a safe that wasn't able to open. On the next day of exploring, he found a lot of ammunition and other military related items. During his search in this creepy secret room, he told the internet that he hired a locksmith who would be coming in the next day to open the safe and that he would update his blog with whatever he discovers. However, he never did update them. He disappeared for a couple of years and just recently posted an update saying, he said that he experienced some strange events and he no longer lives in the house and has no intentions of telling anyone what he found in that safe. So I don't know what was in there, but if I found something scary, I wouldn't tell no one either. Locked in at number five is an underground prison. This story shocked the world when Ariel Castro was arrested for keeping these women imprisoned as sex slaves, and he kept them in prison for over a decade in his basement. Each of these women were kidnapped after they accepted a ride from him. This is why you don't take a ride from strangers. He drove them to his house, lured them inside, then he took them to the basement and restrain them. They forced them to use plastic toilets that weren't emptied often. They were fed only one meal a day and they could only shower twice a week. The girls kept diaries of their horrific experience and they would talk about the abuse, being locked in a dark room, chained to a wall, and someday returning to their families. On May the 8th, 2013, he was charged with four counts of kidnapping and three counts of rape. He pleaded guilty and took a plea bargain, so he was sentenced to life plus 1,000 years in prison without the possibility of parole. But one month into his sentence, he actually committed suicide by hanging himself with bed sheets in his prison cell. Teenage boy held captive in a basement sadly comes onto this list at number 4. Armando de Andrade disappeared when he was only 16 years old, but he was discovered by police 20 years later. He was being held captive for 20 years in the basement of his father and stepmother. There were no windows or light fixtures, and when police found him, he had a beard that has grown down to his knees. He also had very long fingernails, severely malnourished, and was extremely traumatized. Can you imagine living in pitch black? Okay, so for example, like kind of right now, I'm, I'm a little bit scared filming this video right now, guys. I couldn't imagine living 20 years like this. I mean, it's extremely dark right now. You guys can barely see me. I would definitely go insane. I think this is worse than solitary confinement. I would be freaking out. So you know what? Let's turn the lights back on. Okay, that's, that's, that's a lot better. The police chief said that when they entered the basement, they were initially searching for drug gang members, but they stumbled upon Armando. The basement floor was covered in human feces and the poor boy was very impaired and wasn't able to speak. It is believed that his parents decided to lock him up in the basement because uh, they started to heavily drink alcohol and they told his friends that they moved to another part in Brazil and that he's doing good. After he was rescued, he was taken to a psychiatric hospital in hopes that he can recover from this traumatizing event. The police discovered 36-year-old Armando Bezerra de Andrade when they were on a drug raid Sunday evening. They accidentally entered a family home and discovered Andrade in a filthy, stinking basement. Number three brings us to the basement murderer. Gary Michael Heidnick kidnapped, tortured, and raped six women, killing two of them while holding them prisoners in his basement in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Going back to November 25th, 1986, he abducted a woman and by January 1987, he had kidnapped four other women. He held them all captive in the pit of his basement where they underwent extremely violent forms of torture. One of the women died from a combination of starvation, torture, and an untreated fever. He dismembered her body and put her arms and legs in his freezer and labeled them as 
dog food. According to some rumors, he would ground up his first victim's flesh, mix it with dog food, and feed it to the other girls. His favorite form of torture was using electrical shocks, and he used to duct tape their mouths and stab them in their ears with a screwdriver. Once he was finally arrested, he tried to take an insanity plea, but thankfully he was sentenced to death by lethal injections. So we don't have to worry about this, you know, crazy guy ever again. The House of Horror terrifies us in at number two, Joseph Fridzel. Well, he appeared to be a well-respected family man and successful engineer. But what a lot of people didn't know was he began to abuse his 11-year-old daughter and decided to keep her locked up in his basement away from the outside world. He made his own large cellar basement underneath his home that had a reinforced door and soundproofing. That's where his daughter lived without any daylight for the next 24 years. During her imprisonment, she was raped by her father over 3,000 times. She gave birth to seven children, seven incests. So I guess they became her siblings and her children at the same time. Yeah, confusing. Three of those kids lived upstairs with him and his wife, while the others lived in the basement cellar. The last child died shortly after childbirth, but in April 2008, one of the daughters became seriously ill, so he was persuaded persuaded to take her to the hospital where she managed to call the police. Joseph was jailed for life and his house of horrors has now been turned into 10 bungalow homes with the basements filled in with concrete. And in at number one, we have a shadow person. A security guard was petrified when he heard a loud banging noises coming from the basement of a deserted football stadium. He decided to go down the dark staircase in order to investigate the suspicious noises and he recorded the whole thing. When he panned his camera around he saw a dark shadowy figure quickly passing along some benches and then disappearing through the wall and yeah we have the footage for you guys take a look at this <laughs> I mean, come on, is this real life right now? The security guard didn't see this ghostly figure until after he reviewed the tapes. He said that the basement changing room door was being violently opened and closed by an unknown force inside of the room. The man was so terrified and stressed, so on the next day, he handed in his letter of resignation and found a different security job. You know what, smart, smart man. I would do the same thing if I were you, because hell no, I'm not doing that job. Well, there you guys have it. This is the end of the video. Uh, but the this video is not done yet. Um, yeah, you guys are about to see some bloopers. Enjoy. Armando D. Oh, damn it. Armando D. Andre. Armando. Ar Armando de Andrade. You think that's what it is? Is that close? I'll accept that. Would, would you accept that? Armando. Should I say like Armando? Okay, Armando D. Andrade. 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 Armando. Armand. <laughs> damn it. Killing two of them. Can you hear that train? Oh my god, that freaked me out. That scared you? Yeah. That train? It sounds like why are we, whispering. Yeah, why are we getting scared right now? Oh, you hear like whispering? Yeah. It's gone? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs>